Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use an application called Screen Copy on your Windows 10 operating system. So Screen Copy is a free and open source screen mirroring application that allows control of Android devices from Windows, Mac OS or Linux operating systems. So basically you use Screen Copy to mirror your Android devices on your operating system. So I'm going to demonstrate it on our Windows 10 operating system. So to download Screen Copy, what you need to do is you just need to go to your favorite browser and search for SCRCPY. The short form of Screen Copy is this one. So just search for SCRCPY and in the search result, you will see this GitHub link. So this project is hosted on the GitHub. So you just need to click the GitHub link, which you see in the result. I will put this link in the description of this video also. Now, if you want to know more about uh, this uh, project and uh, screen copy, you can just scroll down where you see readme.md and you can uh, see more details about uh, how to use this, how to install uh, screen copy on your operating system. So I'm going to go a little bit down where you will see get the app section and you can see you can get it on Linux, Windows or Mac operating system. So we are interested in uh, installing this application on our Ma uh, Windows operating system. So I'm going to choose this Windows option and you will see this zip file which is for the 64 bit operating system. So I'm going to just click on this zip file which is going to be downloaded on my Windows operating system. So I will wait for the download to complete. So once this zip file is downloaded, you just need to go to the location where this zip file is downloaded and just uh, cut this uh, zip file and move this zip file wherever you feel comfortable with uh, using the command prompt. So what I generally do is I will just go to my C drive and inside my C drive, I will just create a folder with the name SCRCPY and then in this SCRCPY folder, I'm going to just paste this uh, zip file and then extract this zip file here. So right click and then extract this zip file in the same folder in the SCRCPY in the C directory. And after that, you don't need this uh, zip file so you can uh, remove this zip file also. And then what you need to do is you just need to run this SCRCPY executable file using command prompt. So if you go to the documentation page once again, and when you scroll down, the usage is really simple. You just need to plug your Android device to your computer and then run this SCRCPY command. So we are going to do just that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all, connect my Android phone to my Windows operating system using a USB cable as you just normally do when you want to charge your phone with your uh, Windows operating system or any other operating system. So you just need to allow the access to your Android phone on your Windows operating system. So generally this will be just a pop-up window on your Android device and you just need to say, yes, I want to grant access, right? So once your Android device is connected to your Windows operating system, what you need to do is you just need to copy this path where you have uh, this SCRCPY executable file and then open the command prompt. So just search for CMD in the search bar and then run your command prompt as administrator. So right click and run as administrator and once your command prompt open, you can CD to the directory where your uh, SCRCPY executable is there. So once you are inside that directory, you just need to run the SCRCPY command. So I'm going to just write SCRCPY here and then press enter. And once I do that, I can see my Android phone screen, which is mirrored on my Windows operating system. So I can just open this uh, uh, Android device and then uh, I can go to the uh, Google Play Store and here when I uh, just do something on 
my Android device, it's mirrored on my uh, Windows operating system also. So this is that easy to just mirror your Android device on your Windows operating system or any other operating system using SCR CPY. Now I'm going to give you a few more tips uh, about SCR CPY. So what I want to show you is, let me just uh, close this uh, mirroring. And right now we have to go to the SCR CPY directory in order to run this uh, command. If you want to run it from anywhere from your Windows operating system, what you need to do is you just need to set this uh, path to your environment variable. And most of you might already know how to do this. But for those who don't know, you just need to go to the settings. And then in the system, you just need to search for environment variables or just type env and some letters of environment variables and just choose this option which is called edit the system environment variable and then click on environment variables and then here in your system environment variables go to the path environment variable which is this one and then double click on it or just click on edit button and then click on new and then paste the path of the SCR CPY. So wherever you have copied your SCR CPY uh, files, you just need to just copy the directory path and then paste it here. So I have pasted this path here and then I'm going to just click on OK and then click on OK and then click on OK. And once I am done with that, I need to restart my command prompt. So I'm going to just uh, restart my command prompt by, by just typing CMD here and then uh, just run it as administrator. And you can see right now I'm in the different directory. I'm not in my screen copy uh, directory, but still when I give here SCR CPY command and then press enter, it runs and show me my Android uh, screen, right? So this is how you can set the environment variables for SCR CPY. I'm going to just uh, close this uh, once again. Now in case you face any problem uh, related to the mirroring of your Android device on your operating system using screen copy, you just need to enable your USB debugging on your Android device. So let me show you how you can enable your uh, USB debugging on your Android device if you face any problem. So once again, I'm going to just show my Android screen uh, by SCRCPY command. So you can see my um, Android device. And then you just need to go to the settings here in order to enable uh, the USB debugging. So once the settings open, you just need to go at the very bottom where it says about phone and click on about phone. And then uh, just go to the build number and press it a uh, few times. So after pressing few times, you will see that the developer option will be enabled on your Android device. So when you go back, you will see this developer option uh, which will be enabled. So just click on the developer option, go inside that and make sure that this uh, top developer option has been enabled. So you just need to enable the top uh, developer option. And then you also need to make sure that under debugging section, your USB debugging is on. So you need to enable this if it's not enabled. So, so just make sure that you have enabled your USB debugging and then uh, you just uh, enable all the options related to USB uh, debugging, okay? So if you do that, definitely uh, this method is going to work on your uh, Android device. So this is how you can download and install a screen copy on your Windows operating system and mirror your Android device on Windows operating system or any other operating system using screen copy. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.